What is going on, guys? Thanks for checking out this video on my sports gamatria. In this video, I'm going to go over a basketball game for Monday, January 2nd, 2023. I'm going to show you highlights of each side, and it's going to be up to you to determine who you think will win based on the numbers. I encourage you to add additional information on top of this if needed for you to feel confident in your own pick. And I wish you guys the best of luck on all your picks for today for this game. Let's go ahead and get into the game. We're going to be looking at the Spurs versus the Nets in Brooklyn. On this side of the screen is what I call my daily numbers, date numerology, Gregorian Hebrew calendar. And on this side of the screen is what I call my game numbers, numbers specific to the game. The way that I have it structured here is I have the road team up top, their coach's record, their season record, their road record, any other notes I want to add. In the middle is the all-time head-to-head -head record between the two teams, as well as regular season, as well as for this season in particular. And then at the bottom is the home team, their season record, their home record, their coach's record, and any other notes that I want to add. Now, I'm just doing this game because I'm following the Nets winning streak that they're currently on. I'm going to see if we can catch them breaking that win streak at some point in time. So far, they've been doing just fine with 11 wins in a row. They're looking for their 12th win. What I'm going to do here, though, is I'm going to start with the home team, the Nets, go over some numbers for the Nets to win this game, and then I'm going to go over some numbers for the Spurs, the road team, to win this game. So starting with the Nets, the Nets can, uh, the Nets are looking to pick up their 12th win in a row as they sit on 12 losses for the season. This could happen on January 2nd, written 1-2, slash like 12 where Spurs can sit on 12 wins for the season with the loss as they pick up their 12th road loss to go with. The Nets, they can get their 30th all-time head-to-head win against the Spurs as they become 1-0, like 10 head-to-head -head against the Spurs for the season. As the Nets coach becomes 30-10 and 10 for a regular season record as a coach specifically for the Nets, this being the 100th regular season head-to-head -head matchup between these two teams, 100 mathematically, as a square root of 10. Both these, both these teams' records would be relatively the same if the Nets were to win. Spurs would become 12-25. Nets would become 25-12, which is basically the same number. I don't know if it had any number properties. 1225. Okay, so 1225 has is the 49th triangular, the 35th square, 25th hexagonal. Um, nothing jumps out with those. Well, I guess the 35, it being the 35th square, because 25... 25 um, sums to 149, the 35th prime number, and it also sums to 49. Nets can get their 13th home win for this season on the 99th day of the Hebrew civil year. 13 sums to 99. And uh, really, the Spurs record would be similar to their road record. So if Spurs do lose and become 12-25, they would become 5-12 and 12 for a road record. So you have that 5-1-2, 1-2-2-5, similar numbers being used. And um, the Nets, they can get their 25th win as they sit on five home losses. Mathematic. Mathematically speaking, 25 has a square root of 5. And that's about what I would put for the Nets. Uh, I think the 12 is uh, the bigger item here. You can also say 10-date uh, numerology on the Gregorian. If you write out 10, it sums to 12 as well. But uh, let, let's look at the Spurs. What are some numbers here for the Spurs to win this game? Sorry to interrupt this video, you guys, but I need a huge favor from you. 
Can you go ahead and like this video and leave a comment below on who you think is going to win? It's going to help with the YouTube algorithm. It's going to help grow my channel. I really appreciate you guys being here. Let's go ahead and get back into the video. There are some numbers. It is the 99th day of the Hebrew Civil. The Spurs can get their 13th win for the season. The Nets can get their 13th loss for the season. 13 written out sums the 99. The word Nets sums the 13. Could just swing that way if they wanted to. Um, at the same time, the Nets coach he would get his 169th loss regular season uh, to go with, and 169, mathematically speaking, has a square root of 13. The Nets, they can end their 11-game winning streak as the Nets or as the Spurs sit on 11 road losses with the win as the Nets coach gets his 11th loss regular season as a coach for the Nets. He would sit on 29 wins with the loss as the Nets sit on 29 all-time head-to-head wins against the Spurs with the loss. And Spurs can sit on 27 all-time, or excuse me, 27 regular season head-to-head -head losses against the, the Nets with the win. 27 written out sums to 46. It is a day with 46 date numerology. It's also a day leaving 257 left in the Hebrew civil calendar. And the Spurs coach can sit on 725 losses regular season for his career with the win. 257, 725. They're just anagrams of each other. Let's go ahead and pop this number in, 1357. Let's see if that has any number properties. 1357. Nope. Um, I don't know about do it, I guess. Oh, one thing I failed to mention for the uh, Nets. This is the 37th game for the Spurs, 37th game for the Nets. 37 is the 12th prime number. That can help out the uh, Nets a little bit too as well. But yeah, hopefully this helps. Hopefully this gives you insight to the game as to decode already that you already have. Maybe get you started on a decode. Uh, I really wish you guys the best of luck on your picks. Hopefully you win all the money in the world. And I will see you guys in the next video.